So over here we have our landing page for our web platform, Reddit Safe. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Google account. So you click sign up with Google and boom, I'm taken over here to my Google account. We see the live readings from the wearable technology, um, my heart rate, body temperature and oxy oxygen saturation. We see all the different graphs over here. We can also see the cases. Um, these are all the live cases from today from all over the world. So we see these are all coming in all live data. We can also go to our profile and we can update our information, put in the different details and click save to update our profile. We can also go ahead and look at notifications as well. And that's the demo. Thank you. Hi everyone. This is a quick um, explanation of how uh, the Redis is used to store blockchain data that uh, essentially represents um, healthcare data collected from uh, various devices as well as, as well as GPS sensor store location. So um, this is our URL um, where we've hosted a serverless function that interacts with the Redis backend. And if you want to start up uh, blockchain, we just hit that. And we're going to get back an ID that says uh, that this basically indicates the ID of the blockchain that's been started. Um, we already have some previous blockchains, so let's do um, let's let's take a look at uh, five, and we can get the blockchain data. So this essentially represents a um, set of location coordinates that uh, was uh, tracked by a GPS tracker, and then we can also um, let's do four and four. This basically tracks health, um, health readings, so uh, GSR, Pulse. Uh, the problem we are trying to solve with Redisafe is that there aren't solutions on the market that take preventative measures to fight COVID-19 utilizing both real-time health as well as contact tracing. For our solution, we built wearable technology that can track health metrics in order to assess severity of an in individual contracting the virus. We have a web interface and mobile application to ingest real-time health metrics from Redis and display them on the dashboard. We use RFID-based location tracking for access control to allow efficient and reliable contact tracing. We have daily notifications enabled on our platform. Some of the features that we have are COVID alerts, health and activity monitoring, uh, contact tracing, as well as fall detection. Redisafe is a modern app which allows monitoring health data offline and preventing contracting COVID-19 through contact tracing and real-time vital tracking. What uh, makes us kind of special is that um, we have health vital tracking and um, we also have a um, end-to-end -end, um, solution for not only co consumers but also to hospitals and other healthcare providers. For our business plan, our basic essential features would be free. However, we would have a Redisafe Plus membership with perks like personalized weekly health reports, history of health vitals uh, over time, uh, doctor consultations, as well as ability to integrate with uh, insurance providers for uh, lower insurance premiums. We can offer this as a custom software as a service to hospitals or to insurance providers who want vitals monitored and potential uh, clients include uh, loved ones, caretakers, nurses um, who cannot be there physically all the time. For a revenue model, the membership would cost around uh, $2.99 per month or $14.99 for an annual subscription. The Redisafe software as a service for hospitals will uh, generate a heavy stream of income while cutting down uh, cost of production and operations. Our goals for Redisafe is to launch the mobile app on the iOS store, reduce the cost of hardware by a factor of two or more, um, design a customizable software as a service solution for hospitals and medical providers. So this is our team. We're a team located all over the world in four different time zones. We have Montaster. Montaster worked on the back end hardware for this project. I'm Aryan. I worked on the website front end and back end. Sam worked on building the mobile application. And Inesh worked on the UI and UX for this project.